Hello, this is Daniel Mart, and today I'm going to be doing another review. This time around, I'm going to be doing a review for um for Arrow, Arrow season three, episode nineteen, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. They are tracking very fast, eighteen, nineteen, and it is called Broken Arrow. Yeah, episode nineteen. Huh, so yeah, one of the best episodes this season thus far, possibly the show as well. So yeah, um, before I begin, though, 10 seconds spoiler warning, as usual, for those of you that actually watched the episode and haven't already, stop the video, go check it out, and come back and watch the rest of this review, 10 seconds spoiler warning, as usual, starting now. Okay, so 10 seconds are up, so for those of you that actually watched the episode and haven't already, um, please don't comment down below or be messaging me that I never gave a fair one, because as usual, I did. Um, so yeah, bef um, so I did. So as usual, quick synopsis, likes and dislikes, and then the rate. So yeah, basically, after the events of the previous episode, after the events of the previous episode, Public Enemy, um, we have Broken Arrow, and basically Roy, he's arrested, um, as the Arrow. He's basically arrested as he Arrow. Um, he basically has to go, um, he's basically his process through jail. Um, or in jail, it's his process and his condemnation and him in jail. You also have Oliver and you have you have Oliver and Ray Palmer, and and they're teaming up for the first time or one of the few times I'm assuming that's gonna happen in the show for thus far. And they team up. <laughs> ah, sorry, brain loss. But how do I say? How do I say? How do I say? They team up to basically take down this uh, metahuman Jake Simmons, who for my, for me, he kind of looks a bit like, at least in the show. I'm um in the show he kind of looks like um Harrison uh, Harrison Wells. Sorry, it's just very funny. He kind of looks like Harrison Wells. Um, basically he is Death Bolt from the comics. Sorry, he's Death reincarnation, um, of the comics. Who and basically could suck um electricity, and then turn it into electricity and kill people with it. You know he. He channels electric energy and is able to blast, you know, electric beams, if you know what I mean. So now you have Adam and Arrow who have to try to stop him. And it's overall, it's pretty cool in my opinion. It's very, he has actually very cool power. Um, at the end, and you also have, you also have the detective, um, you also, you also have the detective who's trying to, um, you know, find, um, uh, find Oliver Queen, make sure that he is guilty of all his, all, all the crimes that the Arrow has. Make sure that Ray Palmer, not Ray Palmer, sorry. Ray, Roy Harper isn't really taking the blame for all the things that Arrow is doing. And at the end of the episode, you have Roy Palmer, and he's basically written out of the show in a really heroic and really good way, in my opinion. Um, at first, it seemed like they were going to kill him. Then I thought, oh my gosh. Um, probably one of the saddest deaths in the show thus far. Um, I'm really sad and a little bit feel feel kind of bad that I didn't watch this when it originally came out um because you know I'm always I'm so, half the time I am late with reviews obviously with this um like two or three weeks late so I'm like oh damn um but you know he did survive he ends up surviving um but they wrote him out of the show really sad I am going to be doing a discussion topic an arrow discussion topic um you know you know Roy Palmer character spotlight I think that one does need need to be deserved, especially with what he's been struggling lately, or up until now, um, with him and the death of the cop that he killed back in season two, I believe. Um, yeah, such a strong character from the, um from season two, and he was in season one, I believe. So, um, and season three also dropped. So yeah, um, Felicity. I think now they're doing better with Felicity. It's about time, cause ever since her origin episode, I've said this before in the previous review. Um, she was she was kind of on and off, on and off. Um. And for a while, I really did hate Felicity. Uh, yeah, she's like one of those characters that sometimes she does it for me, and sometimes she's like the worst character you could um, possibly imagine, but because she's just retarded as a fuck. And I think now they're trying to make her into a stronger character, um, into a better, stronger character. Um, so I really did enjoy that. And yeah, overall, it's actually a pretty great episode, in my opinion. Probably, as I said before, one of the best episodes of this season. Um, I did like the twists and turns. I, um, and also, the guy who plays um, Diggle, I think this is... Um, damn. Um, I think he really pulled out all the stops because we really don't see Diggle angry that much, or he's infuriated with Oliver Quinn, and he does a really great job. And talking about Oliver Quinn, um, Stephen Amell, um, he was recently cast in TMNT, 
which I um Team NT two, which I did a video on that. But um here we see him cry for the for one of the few times we ever see him cry. Um Stephen Amell, Oliver Quinn. This is one of the few episodes we actually see him cry. And he's crying because Roy Harper he's leaving the team, Team Arrow, and you know it's just very sad to see this guy who's at this point everything's being taken away from him. His Arrow persona, you know his partner. Um, his sister's about to be taken away, or has been taken away. I really, I really want to do that. Black Canary's being taken away. He's kind of being forced into, um, becoming Rage Al Ghul or, the, or you know Rage Al Ghul two point whatever. And it's just kind of you know sad and enjoyable in that weird statistic manner to see him kind of go down and lose everything he has, and now his partner in crime or partner in heroism, better said, um. Is now leaving him, and it makes him really sad. Which obviously, it's just really sad, and in a sense, grateful and enjoyable to see him see him go through that. Uh, because you want to see him suffer at times too. I mean, because we do know he's a broken man at this point with everything that has happened um, to him. Uh, again, with the flashbacks. So yeah, I mean, it's just more sad stuff that happened to him. Just more, more bad stuff. And now he has to work with Adam. I mean, not that Adam's a bad character, but um, he's not the wisest character yet. Um, so yeah. Overall, a fantastic episode. I think one of the better episodes of season three and on the show as a whole. On a scale of one to ten, one being the worst, ten being the best, and six being decent, I give it a nine out of ten. It's a pretty great, fantastic episode. And yeah, that's basically it for this review. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, and comic book reviews. Comment down below your thoughts on the episode. Like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. Remember to subscribe. I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, and comic book reviews. And aside from that, that's basically it. Um, basically it for, uh, basically it for now. This is Daniel Marge signing off.